Yeah, she stayed there and so did Simeon. Oh, I'm going to bring my picture of, of Simeon. Has anybody seen Simeon? The Lord Christ, I'm going to bring it unless you see his face. Anyway, I wanted to leave that place and I wanted to run away. There was nowhere to go. And then I finally said, Lord, why don't you put me in this place? Yeah. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> and I lived in this little room with another girl and she robbed me of my last nerve because she talked from morning till night. So I pretended I told you I was asleep when she'd wake up in the morning. So she'd leave. And so then I told her, what does this happen? I said, I can't stand it. I, I just can't. I finally put signs on the wall. Finally, brethren, whatsoever is good, pure, or holy, think on these things. And I told her, you got to read this every morning before you say one word. And a lot of things happened like that. So I was left. And she was rubbing me like sandpaper. Finally, one day they said, we're going to give you a new place. So they gave me a room over this building to clean it. I was going to watch over that man clean it. We got this new building, three floors, with pink carpet, small carpet. We lived in the country, dirt and everything. I'm just telling you. They gave me the keys to everything, but I was making sure it was all cleaned. Okay, and here's what happened. The day came when they said, we have a third place for you to move. They moved me in that $500,000 home. They gave it to me. The Lord spoke to them. They didn't want to give it to me. They did not want to give me that house. I'm emptying my soul here this morning. And I knew it, and I didn't really enjoy it. I could sleep in a different room every night. I had that many bedrooms. <laughs> bathrooms, too. I didn't have to clean bathroom every day. Four, four, four bathrooms. Two laundry rooms. Who has two laundry rooms in this place? I have two laundry rooms. Two laundry rooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it had the finest carpet in it. Did you ever seen it was salmon color? It had furniture all over the world, but that means nothing. I don't. I, it really hurt me for a long time though, because I thought I'd never have a house like that. And then I gave it up, and then Pastor Madden prophesied. Pastor Madden prophesied over me on Passover two years ago. He said, "Now see this house, and it's not in the state of Arizona. It's where they have hardwood trees. We have hardwood trees in it." He said, "It's got a creek that runs along the bottom of it, and it does everything about the house." And he said, man is trying to get the house away from you, but I'm going to give the house back to you. <laughs> I thought, oh, God. I thought it was going to be right away. And then he gave me again a word on that house. Now, I, I don't really want the house. It's not important to me. My family's gone home. Uh, my heart's not there. <laughs> my heart is in getting out of bed every morning and making it. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway. But I had a vision that I had three mansions in heaven. Three gold Italian villas. Are you listening? Wow. Yes, because Jesse DePlanis said that some people were going to get more. So you can come and visit me. Because I'm going to get more. I'm just, I'm not bragging on myself. I'm telling you, it's hard for me to take care of my one room that I lived in that time. But he, this is what he does when we obey the word. It's not that I'm any better than you are. I saw three mansions on heaven. And I, that lady that plucked my last nerve, we were at a funeral one day, and I said, Brother Heflin, do you think God's trying to tell me he's going to move her next door to me in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> he laughed so hard. I saw three Italian villas with gold, big gold uh, columns in the front, all around the windows. And, and I love Italian works. Any Italians in here? You better get your Italian villa now, or your, they call them like a one, what do they call it, those one double houses in South Africa, and they have a few in Jerusalem. They're beautiful. I love the structure of the buildings, of those houses in Bethlehem on the Christmas cards. You learn to love these things, and then, when I started thinking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it was like they were my best friends. I felt like I know these people. I kept hearing their names when my father preached and I thought, oh, they're like my family. Who are these people? <laughs> the Jews were like my people as soon as I got saved. I knew them. Amen. Cause... And they know whether you love them or not either. Yeah, that's, that's why I never, you don't have to teach me how to approach a Jew. I had one to ask me to marry him one day on the plane. <laughs> he said, I don't know what it is about you. I just love you. <laughs> he did. He said, and he turned and looked at me. He said, are you married? <laughs> and I wanted to say, 
say yeah to the Lord, but you know, we were on the plane, they couldn't push me out. But anyway, he said, I'm on a Jewish, I'm on LL airplane. And he said, Are you married? And he gave me his address. Well, it would be a wonderful idea if I wanted to get into Israel. And I had to write him a letter to tell him I was Pentecost. I never heard from him again. No, not Pentecost. Amen. Amen. He said, taste and see that I'm sweeter than honey. Praise you, Jesus. The Lord, we just send a landmark over to Israel today. Yeah. yeah. A landmark. Where'd that come from? Lord, we send our best. Yes. Lord, you told us that you would keep us if we kept her. She's the apple of your eye. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you said we were, you'd raise us up under, out of the same tree, the apple tree. You said that. I've raised you up under the apple tree. You're off the same tree. Lord, we thank you for their protection, north, east, south, and west. Lord, we thank you that you will keep such joy on the face of Netanyahu that no man shall deceive him. Lord, he'll know those that are of the Haman court and those that are of the Israeli court at all times. And Lord, we send help, advisors of the Spirit of the heavenlies to help him. And all those, Lord, they're being shot at and spied upon and hated for no reason. Yeah. You were hated without a cause, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. God, we ask for your mercies, especially at this time because of what's just happened in Iran. We ask for great protection, yes. great help that only you can give. Yes. Lord Jesus, let them feel the safety Yes. Let them know that there is a Messiah. Yes. That even as you did for the children of Israel, you have not changed your mind. Not one meter have you changed your mind. We give you praise for, for help. Or let them feel the joy of their expectation, the joy of you coming. Oh, Jesus, you can do it. You can stare their hearts. Lord, their, their fields are so beautiful in the summer, their gardens. Their fruit trees, Lord, are so plentiful. They feed half of Europe. They're the rose capital of the world. They supply more gold and pearls than all the other countries. You have truly favored her. And we thank you for it at this moment. Your eye will not look away, and your hand of protection will be upon her. Ooh, I'm seeing the heart of the Lord multiply. I see all these little hearts coming out of the Lord's hearts. For everybody, just rolling after everybody there. For all those that are attending the bridal, Lord, that are in the, in the bridal train, Lord, those that are part of the service, Lord, you, Jew and Gentile, you're bringing together. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for the land, and even our land of the free and home of the brave. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, I see angels like sickles. They're like sickles gathering the harvest around the world of the Jewish people. I've watched the Holocaust. I've had so many films and books and writings on it. And I read it over and over again. Those people were hurt tremendously. Oh, how they were critically hurt and hated for no reason. And oh, the things they did, you don't even want to write about it. It was so horrible. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Jerusalem. City of God, city of peace, 
city of peace. A house of prayer for all nations. A house of prayer for all people. A house of prayer for all. A house of prayer. A house of prayer. A house of prayer. Jerusalem. Hallelujah. You remember how that goes? A house of prayer for all people. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, a house of prayer. sapphire blue. She looked about 38 years old. She said, I've come to see what you've done with my ministry. And I knew it was to tell people about Israel, to welcome people to Israel. Make up your mind you're going to go, okay? Bring it down one more key. We have oranges in the back if you want to take some of them off. Wonderful tangelos if they're still there. Uh, what else is back there? Grape. It's very sweet. I'm told it's all good. I got my portion. Break it down. Move on. I celebrate for all people. I celebrate for. I'll probably drive you crazy. No, we're not. But you know the Lord's going to drive us into heaven one way or another. Amen. Prevailing prayer is the answer. Prevailing prayer for all the world. Prevailing prayer for It's got three verses. Prevailing prayer is the answer. Prevailing prayer for all the world. I'm going to tell you the key is prayer, folks. We need to get into a prayer where we're shouting to the highest mountain. And when we do that, you're going to see it overflow with the goodness of God. He's going to come leaping and dancing off the mountain of your life. Prevailing prayer is the answer. Prevailing prayer for all the world. Prevailing prayer for all people. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Ruthie, have you been yet? Not yet, but I'm going, sister. Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I had it in my hands, you got a passport? I do. I'd take you down to the airport and put you on a plane. I do have a passport, and it's all ready to go. Yeah. Well, you need to believe. Just go take another girl with you. It really takes two. I mean, with the same 
personality you have, honey. <laughs> I tell you, the rest wouldn't know what to do. You got to have, listen, I went with a lady here. She can tell you about it. Remember, Cheryl, when we went to Israel? We ended up laughing. It wasn't easy starting, was it? It was tough. But we ended up laughing so hard. We were eating peanut butter and jelly in our room. And food was high. We took things with us. And I wasn't used to that, you know. I thought I'd already learned that experience. But we did all right. Remember the shower? They didn't have any shower curtain. The water came out of the bathroom down the room. But we never mind. We were there for the journey. Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Sister Ruth, I wrote a song last week about Jerusalem. Can I sing it? Sure. Is it fast? No. Oh, Jerusalem, city by the sea, he will come aside to thee. He will come to thee. Take away the veils in his hands and feet were nails.